hardware. Okay, big news. Um, CircuitPython 8 Alpha 1 is released. Um, this is the start of the next version of CircuitPython. Please test it. Please give us feedback. Um, it's, you know, pretty stable, but there's some fixes and there's going to be a bunch of stuff for the final revisions. Um, you could check out the entire list of things. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, and I'm going to get to the, the big news. I'm going to skip this part real quick. Do you want quick. me to talk about the, what, what's the big changes yeah, in Yeah, why don't you do that? And then I'm going to talk well, about... Well, it's in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when we go to a major revision change, uh, which is the first letter, the first number from like five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, it means that we've introduced breaking changes. That means that code will have to be updated. Um, you know, if it's a, if it's a medium or a, a minor number change or bug fix number change. Usually code doesn't break, usually it's us fixing things. This is actually where we're changing stuff. So for example, gamepad shift, which was um, uh, yeah, Deshi Poo's library t to manage um, uh, you know, game pads that use a shift register. Uh, we're now using our more generic and powerful keypad library that has, um, it has more support for different configurations. Um, the functionality is there, but the code needs to change. And also one wire, has moved um, from bus IO or BitBang IO into one wire IO. That's because it is kind of like BitBang. It's not really, it doesn't really fit in either. And also we had some space considerations. Um, and also we're starting to add um, .env, which is um, environmental setting support. And this is in prep for uh, the Wi-Fi workflow that we're going to be adding in eight. Okay, and I'm gonna skip this other news here. Um, PyLeap, it's now available in the App Store. This is the easiest, most fun way that you can get code from your iOS, iOS device to a Bluetooth device like the Blue Fruit or the Clue. Uh, check it out. It makes it really fun and uh, super easy, kind of like CircuitPython, if you think about how easy CircuitPython is. Even easier. This is even easier. And we know not everyone uses computers. Some only use phones, so this is our first attempt of many to help people who are using their phones for their primary computing device. Okay, PyOhio talks were announced. Um, the board election dates for 2022 for the Python Software Foundation. You can do nominations, you can um, help out, you can vote. There's a lot of things coming up. Uh, if this is important to you, we have it all in one spot. There's some new updates to Python that might make it faster. Some people are really into that. We mm, have that wow, there. it's almost twice as fast. Yeah, um, Anne was on the CircuitPython show. You could tune into that. Timmy makes things had uh, some streaming with CircuitPython, and then just oh, like look at this RGB ball. Unending projects with Python on hardware. If you jellyfish. Wanted. Yeah, if, yeah. There's there's a lot yeah. going on. There's also um, another TI calculator that uses Python um, in France. It's Pretty much, well, it is the national programming language. This seems to be what's happening in the rest of the, uh -huh. the country and the world, too. But the big news that I want to talk about uh, this week is... Uh, is this the grand release? This is the, yeah, this is the big deal. So CircuitPython 8 has a new poster. We have a poster for every version of CircuitPython, uh, starting with version 3. And uh, special thanks to Espressive. We reached out to them. We said, hey, this, this version of CircuitPython is going to have a bunch of stuff in it that works well with your chips and more, and we're big fans. So they sent us over the branding, logo, user guide, guidelines. We put together a couple different ideas that we thought that would uh, be an homage to uh, Espressive. And, um, you know... They let us go with this one. They let us I do it. Which I think is pretty cool. They let us do it. So I wanted to zoom in on some of the features and some of the things on this. So this is going to be a poster in our store. And on our show later, we'll talk about this as a coming soon product. Um, but what I wanted to do is just give you an idea of uh, just the history of some of the, the posters, just so you could see what, um, and I'm just going to search for yeah, a poster. poster. Yeah, I'm going to search for a poster. So let me go back to our um, thing here, and you can just see the thumbnail. So this is uh, CircuitPython 8. We have, um, oh, speaking of, uh, there's eight left of CircuitPython poster. These are these are all limited. We only do a small run. Um, I think my favorite one is CircuitPython 7 because it's the, the great merge with MicroPython and CircuitPython. Um, <laughs> hot Air Balloon, 
Uh, this is Circuit Python Lift 5. five this four. is when we worked with Nordic. They were kind enough to give us permission to use their logo too. It feels like it was just yesterday. Yeah, and then um, the Circuit Python 3 poster. That's the first one, I think. Yeah, and then this is a, a poster that I did a long time ago, Make Robot Friend, Not Robot Enemy. That was from a Sony engineer who said, Tyrone Sun is very important, don't make robot enemy, make robot friends. Um, and then we had a law of robotics poster. So these are just, you know, limited runs of things. We, we mostly do this for our stuff, but if you wanted to pick one up, now would be the time, or at least get ready for when we have those in stock. And that is this week's Python and Hardware News. We deliver this to your inbox every single week. Please sign up over on adafruitdaily.com. It's a completely separate site because we don't want to ever have anyone think that we spam them. So we made a separate site just for the newsletters, and we never do anything with your content, your information, or anything. We just send you the email you sign up for, and that's that.